Your Fally and your YouTube psychic. Card of the day. Readings. Unboxings. Your daily source for things arcane. Before I begin, this is all the information I have gathered from the web. News, stories, and theory crafters. Where I live in Indiana, we have not seen any news of these babies' disappearance. I am not a licensed journalist, nor a private detective. Literally, you could gather all of this information for yourself as well. I have my own opinion, however, I will keep it to myself. This video is for inf the informational purposes in order to set up a tarot reading on Friday. I have a soft spot for missing children. Um, being in a gay marriage, we're not likely to have our own children. However, I have done several readings on missing children to help bring them home one way or another. I do hope that these babies are still with us and that whoever has taken them or whatever has been done to them comes to light. The boys were placed with the Wests, Trezell and Jacqueline, when they were one and two years old. Most likely, after two years of being with the Wests, they believed to have seen them as their parents. The Wests continue to deny that they have done anything to the boys. However, the general public does not believe them. Orson West 3 and Orrin West 4 were reported missing on December 21st in California City, Kern County, about 100 miles north of Los Angeles. Both boys are about 3 feet tall and weigh around 40 pounds. They were last seen wearing black sweaters and dark colored sweatpants. The two California City brothers were said to be last seen playing in the backyard while their adoptive father claims to have gone inside to do something for just a moment. When he returned, he states that the children were gone. The father, Trezell, states he was gone no longer than a few minutes, claims that he accidentally left the back gate open, and believes that the children wandered off. Neighbors claim that they never saw the brothers that day. John Walker, police chief for the California City Department, says the boys' adoptive parents claim they left their California City house on December 19th with their six children to go do Christmas shopping in Bakersfield. Security cam footage from a neighbor shows an adult holding the door open while four children go into the van. Then, later that day, two adults, which appear to be Trezell and Jacqueline West, come back to the house without any kids. Now, I have seen the security cam footage taken by the neighbor. Another YouTube channel named A.V. Watchman went to the neighbor's home and asked to see the footage. It has not been released by the police, therefore I will not include it in my video. The video is grainy and there is no audio of that day, however it clearly shows four small children getting into the family van with one adult holding the door. In military fashion, the children exit the home and get into the van. After the four children leave the home, another adult appears. The first adult gets into the van from the passenger side, slides over to the driver's side, and the second adult gets in on the passenger side as well. Then later that night, the van reappears to, and no children are seen exiting the vehicle. Chief Walker says the parents claim they dropped off the four, uh, four of their children, not including Orin and Orson, at a family member's home that day. Malker says December 19th was the last day the other four children say they saw Orin and Orson. Soon, authorities suspected foul play, said California City Police Chief John Walker. We did a thorough search of the surrounding areas and the toddlers were not there. 
So that tells me that they didn't just keep walking, Walker said. Someone picked them up. Police have not named any suspects and the case remains open. The home is situated on a lot that backs to the desert. Had the boys actually walked through the gate, they should have been visible after a few short minutes. After the disappearance, the police were called and an extensive search began at the property. The search included them digging up the backyard in order to locate the bodies of the boys in case they were murdered and placed there. In short, nothing of use appears to have been found. Shortly after the disappearance of the boys, the adoptive parents and their other four children moved back to Bakersfield where they and the biological mother had once lived. There are several theories as to what has happened, and the biological mother states that she believes that the Wests have done something sinister to her children. They did something. I feel like they did something, and they know something, Ryan Dean said. They have become a target of hate and suspicion. Mr. West has stated that there are people outside of his home all hours of the night, and it has been reported that their home has been the target of vandalism by people throwing rocks at it. The family has issued a reward for any information regarding the children's safe return. Anyone with information is asked to contact California City Police at 760-373-8606 or do not approach them and call 911. Now I am hoping for the best and that these babies were taken from their home and they were, um, they are currently being raised by, um, some very strange and evil people, uh, yet hopefully they are very nice to the babies. Um, now, on Friday, I will uh, do several readings um, with my tarot cards to see what we can find out. So if you have any questions you want answered, leave them in the comment section below, and I'll be sure to include them in my reading. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching today's video. If you'd like to order your own reading please visit me at tarobiterthalion.tk Don't forget to subscribe to my content.